today is March 12, and it will soon be March 13. And I again, I find myself down at English Bay, down by the beach. So I'm down here by the beach, and it's so dark out. I actually just put the I put the light on on the phone, so at least we can see something. And I'm holding the uh, phone just down by the water here so we can listen to the waves. I love the sound of the water, it's so soothing. So I've moved down to a more secluded part, part of the beach and I'm going to uh, just light up my coffee can stove. I only put some little uh, shredded up paper in there, so it shouldn't burn too long. Yeah, and now it's just finishing burning out, basically. I just turned it on its side, so it'll uh, cool down. Let me flip it a bit. I still see it's pretty hot, eh? Let me blow on it. Here we go. This is what it looks like uh, out tonight. I mean, it is 
absolutely pitch dark. I mean, you're, it is, there's not, there's no moon at all. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm, sh I'm pointing up at the sky right now and you can see there's no moon at all. But I've got the uh, city behind me here. And of course that provides uh, a lot of light. Of course, light from the city, they call it light, they call it light pollution. Well, anyway, today what I want to do here, I want to go over and look at that sculpture right there. I want to look at that sculpture or that monument and it's called Inukshuk. So let's go have a look at that. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting piece of culture. These are some pretty big rocks here. I mean, they really are. They're, they're, they're all about a meter and a half long. Pretty fantastic. And I'll just keep walking around. And maybe I'll step back a bit so you can get a whole, there you go. That's sort of the, all of it at once. And I'll just walk around again so you get an idea. And I'll, I'll stop periodically to let the camera focus on it. Yeah, it sure is different, that's for sure. I mean, different than, because obviously most of the time when you get these public sculptures, it's sort of some, you know, it's normally a sculpture of some dead prime minister or something. But uh, this, I mean, is uh, really, it's interesting. Okay, and I've, I've gone full circle now, so, uh, I'll just go back and uh, I'll try to stand back a bit so you can get get all, see all of it once. Oh good, there you go. Yep, pretty amazing. We have this plaque here telling us about the sculpture. So, what does it say here? Inukshuk, this ancient symbol of uh, the Inuit culture is traditionally used as a landmark and a navigational aid and also represents northern hospitality and friendship. Construct, constructed of grey granite uh, by uh, Alvin Kanak of Rankin Inlet, this monument was commissioned by the government of the Northwest Territories for its pavilion at, at Expo 86. That means ex Exposition 86. It's a, uh, it's a big uh, exposition that we had in uh, Vancouver in 1986. Anyway, and later given to the city of Vancouver. In 1987, the Inukshuk was moved to this site and sponsored as a gift to the city by uh, Coast Hotels through the uh, Vancouver Legacies program. I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. But now it's time to respect tradition. Now, if there's one thing you ought to know about me is that I respect tradition. For example, I still own a VCR and I still listen to all my cassette tapes of Milo Vanilli. But now it's time to respect a new tradition and that is the end of video pizza. Okay, so let's go. Now, it is after midnight. So this could actually be a, quite a challenge now to find 
the end of video pizza that you have uh, come to expect from me. But I think that there's hope that fresh sliced pizza here might still be open. And it's just up the road. So let's, uh, let's go uh, see if it's possible. Hallelujah, fresh sliced, fresh sliced pizza is open. So it's time to go get a slice. Hawaiian. Now I've got my hobo oven here, my coffee can oven, and I got my pizza. However, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going to have to have the pizza for breakfast. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take the first taste of pizza and tell you how it is today because I'm just at an age where I can't really eat after midnight. So I'm going to eat this for breakfast or lunch tomorrow and you can just trust me, it's good. It's Hawaiian because if one thing's a fact, it's that pineapple belongs on pizza. So I hope you enjoyed my little video. So like and subscribe and all that good stuff and thanks for watching.